Thank you for tuning in to today's video. This is one of my favorite videos to make each year on my channel. It is the annual Perseids Meteor Shower informational video. Now 2020 has been a really crappy year, but uh, I'm telling you, I'm still looking forward to this annual sky event known as the Perseids Meteor Shower. This will be my 11th year going out there and watching this meteor shower. It's one of the most popular meteor showers um, of the year because it's in the middle of the summer, the nights are nice and warm, a lot of people are on vacation. Now, it's not the strongest meteor shower by by any means, but it is still very impressive nonetheless. So this summer has definitely uh, been packed full of uh, pretty awesome sky events. We've had uh, uh, good views of uh, like Jupiter and Saturn. Um, we've had Comet Neowise, which is still visible in the night sky. Uh, but it's starting to fade and I got a chance to see Comet Neowise. Uh, these photos that are in this video, they're actually photos I took of the comet. We also have two, uh, we actually have three meteor showers ongoing right now at the time I'm making this video. Today is July 28th. We have the Perseids, uh, which began um, in mid-July. It's very weak right now, but it is active. We have two meteor showers peaking um, over the next couple of nights is the Southern Delta Aquarians and the Alpha Capricornids. And uh, that can definitely boost your meteor rates through the early part of August. Uh, so if you want it's, to, it's, uh, even though it's not the peak time for the Perseids, there's still a lot of meteors flying around right now. And obviously the big event for it is the Perseids. Um, it is active now. It'll peak in August. The peak nights are August 11th, 12th, and 13th. And technically, they're not really peak nights. They're actually early in the morning, after midnight, and before the, uh, before dawn. So it peaks August 11th, 12th, and 13th. This is a moderately favorable year for the Perseids. The moon is just under 50% full. Uh, so that means there is some moonlight, but it's better than having a full moon. And trust me, the years that we have a full moon are very disappointing. Um, you don't you don't see, get to see a whole lot. But uh, moderately favorable. Obviously, um, the most favorable favorable would be a new moon because the skies would be really really dark in that case. But half moon's not bad. So uh, the maximum meteors per hour that is expected that any any observer under clear dark rural skies um, you should be seeing anywhere between 50 to 75 per hour now it is possible to see over 100 per hour but realistically most of us will probably not see that many it's more like 50 to 75 which is still very impressive I don't want to promise you guys that you will see a hundred per hour because um, usually you don't and that's because uh, well you know most of us live in an area that, uh, you know, even if you're in a, a rural area, there's still light pollution, at least in the vicinity, and that reduces the, the amount of meteors that you can actually see. So 50 to 75 is realistic under a good, ideal, dark rural sky, limited light pollution. But there are some very dark areas where you can see a lot more stars, and it will be entirely possible to see over 100 meteors per hour. And these meteors tend to be very bright. Uh, they are relatively fast moving, but they, they are bright, so that which is nice because in years like this where there is a moon visible, um, they tend to shine through the moonlight even, which is amazing. So best time to see it is after midnight. However, if you do go out earlier in the evening, you may have a chance to see earth grazers. They're these really low near the horizon meteors they, they move really slow. They're often very colorful. They're truly breathtaking whenever you get to see one of those. Um, where to look? Um, you want to look towards the northeast 
or the north northeast that's where the constellation Perseus is that is where the radiant is that's where the meteors are originating from in that general area so here's some tips I did say to look to the northeast however you don't want to just have kind of like tunnel vision to the northeast you want to make sure your field of vision is as wide as possible you want to have as much of an open sky view as possible because they they're originating from the northeast but they'll appear they'll appear like they're flying from all different directions you don't need a special camera you don't need any other equipment you just need just dark skies and your eyes dark 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 you need dark skies to maximize the number of meteors you can see if you live in a major metropolitan area where you can't see any stars, you're probably not going to see any meteors. So if it's at all possible, get out, of, get out of the city lights, get into a rural area where it's nice and dark. The more stars you see, the better off you'll be. And be patient. Um, these me after, you know, I've been watching this for over 10 years now. And uh, one thing I've noticed is that some nights are better than other nights. And that's just the way it is. You have the peak nights, you know the nights that you're going to see the most meteors, um, but there are, there are just some nights that are better than others. The meteors, they tend to start and stop. Uh, there, may, there may be a period of time where you don't see any. It can last a while. Um, and there may be times where you see a big burst, a big burst of activity, or you see a bunch all at once. And lastly, the moon phase will be decreasing as the, as the nights go on. Now, the Perseids peak uh, the 11th through the 13th, but they will continue um, on a decreasing trend for a couple weeks after that. So it's entirely possible you may want to uh, keep watching the Perseids even after the peak because you'll be losing that moonlight and you might see some additional meteors. Stay tuned to this channel as we get closer to the peak nights. I'll be posting additional videos updating you on sky viewing condition forecasts across the United States. Thank you for watching. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this uh, something. Well, thank you. Where you can't see any stars, you're probably not going to see any meteors. And why is that going off? So stay tuned to this channel. Once we get closer to the peak time, I'll be posting videos on a specific sky, uh, sky condition forecast. Stay tuned to this channel. As we get closer to the peak nights, I'll be posting... Uh, Updates on viewing conditions across the <sighs> Stay tuned to this channel as we get closer to the peak night. I will be having additional Stay tuned to this channel as we click Stay tuned to this channel as we get closer to the peak nights. I'll be posting additional videos on sky viewing conditions um, as we